Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with, an, with another printer video. Today we've got the Epson Workforce 7710. Basically, if you're having any uh, issues with your print quality, a certain color just isn't printing, or you just have an overall general uh, print head quality issue, um, this is a video that is gonna help you solve that problem. And we're gonna use this cleaning kit, which I'm gonna go into. There's a link in the description below. This is what you need to fix your printer. And it's a new product that just launched. I would greatly appreciate once I show you how to use it if you would go down there and purchase one there's going to be a link in the description below again for this product okay so the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to go into your settings on your printer you're going to want to have it on obviously And what you're gonna do is you are going to go into your settings and you're gonna go into maintenance. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into ink cartridge replacement. You're gonna click that, you're gonna start it. And this is gonna give you the instructions to lift the scanner. Once the scanner is lifted, you can go ahead and wait for the print head. It's gonna do whatever it needs to do and it's gonna come right here to the middle. Okay, once it's here in the middle, you're gonna go ahead and take out the ink. Now, one of the main issues um, that causes your print head or your print quality to be diminished is running low ink. Uh, if you run low ink, you're gonna have problems. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for some 252 Epson ink. It comes with black and color, so you can go ahead and get that for yourself. And I would also, especially if you're running low, so before even, if you are running low ink, uh, before even continuing on with the repair, I would highly recommend that you get the new ink first, and then uh, after you're done with the cleaning process, then go ahead and print again. But don't run it with um, low ink again, because you're gonna say, end up with the same issue. All right, so next, you're gonna wanna grab your print head, <coughs> You're gonna pull it gently, very gently to the side here, and you're gonna wanna get a paper towel, any you know kitchen grade uh, paper towel, fold it up to the point where you can slide your print head um, right over it. So you're just going to go ahead and move it right over the top there, and then you're gonna lift this up right here. So you just wanna make sure to get that paper towel, you wanna get it, make sure to get that paper towel right in there so that you can now work on the uh, print head. So this is a uh, premium high-grade syringe which which I've developed. It's 20 milliliters so you can um, continuously put cleaning fluid through it. Uh, most of the other cleaning kits online are only 10 uh, milliliters. That's not really going to help you when you are doing what I'm about to show you. So you're also going to want to make sure that you have a towel handy so you can clean off whatever needs to be cleaned. So you're going to get your cleaning fluid, so you're going to fill this up with cleaning fluid and you're going to grab the tip of this, let's say you're having issues with black, you see the nozzle there? You're putting this, the, the tip of this syringe right on the nozzle and you're fitting it all the way down on there so that it's snug. Next, with your syringe, you can kind of hold this in place but you don't really need to. You are going to just let it glide in. Okay, you can now if you're having a lot of issues, you can put a shell all through. But this one, I'm going to go up to 15. So I put in five milliliters of cleaning solution. Next, I'm going to move it to the next one. So if you were having the biggest issues with black, I would do black first, and I would hit all of these. To be honest, if you're having a general quality issue, and even if you're not having problems with them at all. Now one thing that this cleaning kit does not include is gloves. So that is something that I highly recommend you use. We're in the process of trying to get that into the kit. Uh, I would highly recommend you just get some uh, separate gloves from somewhere else from the store. Okay, so this is really on there really snug. You can see I'm really, it's very tight on there. And um, so I'm just gonna hit magenta and then we'll be done here. But as you can see, if I only had 10 milliliters, I would have to stop right there, refill the syringe. And so I didn't want that for my, for the user. And so I did, made it this way so that it's continuously going in. You're using a high volume of cleaning solution. 
and you are getting the job done. This is something anyone can do. Really anyone um, that has the ability to stand up and use their hands can do this. And so I'm selling my kit here on Amazon.com. There's a link in the description below. Uh, once again, you see how it works. This is basically how you use it. Um, besides this syringe and the cleaning solution, you're going to need some gloves and some paper towel. But it's a very affordable price. You're going to save yourself a lot of money rather than buying a new printer or buying uh, continuously wasting money on ink. And your towel on the bottom is going to look just like that. That's okay. That's how it's supposed to look. And you're going to take it right out there and you're just going to toss it. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. Once uh, you determine what the issue is, if it's a certain color or it's just an overall quality issue, um, you're going to know what to do with this cleaning kit. You see there how easy it was to use. It's really just you need a few extra items that are very inexpensive. But um, once you have this cleaning kit, if you, if you ever have an issue again with another printer, um, you're going to have the, the tools to be able to, to do that. This works on um, Epson, HP, on uh, Canon. A lot of different print heads, but this is especially made for the Epson printer. Uh, it's got a very good um, tight hold on the print head nozzle. Now, if you, um, for whatever reason, this didn't work for you, I'm going to leave a link below for a new Epson uh, Workforce 7710, as well as a link to my website, bestprinterstech.com. If you're wanting to shop uh, for a new printer or um, you just wanted some in general uh, advice about printers got a lot of reviews on there uh, reviewing different printers and giving my opinion uh, about the different printers and we're in the process of creating a tool so that you can determine what type of printer uh, you need for your home office or for your uh, office at work i'm also going to leave some links to amazon prime so that when you buy this product these uh, best printers um, syringe kit you can get it quickly and I would highly recommend signing up. You can sign up for free. You don't need to stay subscribed to it. You can sign up for free for 30 days. You can uh, buy this uh, print head, get the free shipping and um, get free shipping on a lot of other things. And then you can unsubscribe from it. But I'm going to leave a link to that as well down in the description below. So you can go ahead and sign up for that. All right, so that's all there is to it. I hope I was uh, really able to, to explain exactly how to do this in a proper manner. If you still had questions, though, I'm very good about answering uh, any comments or questions in those comments um, below. So I'll do my best to get to you if you have an additional question, if you have another issue or whatever it is. A lot of times, even with error codes on these printers, um, you are able to fix the problem by doing this. I've seen that by using the cleaning kit and flushing the print head, it has fixed some error code. So I would highly recommend trying it even if you did have an error code and it wasn't uh, this particular issue. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time.